What's up, y'all? My name is The Sim Yen. My name is Yen. I play The Sims. You see what I did there? And other occasionally simulation games. But, you know, right now we're just playing The Sims 4. But anyway, if you are new to my channel, hey! Also, I just got my hair done, y'all. How y'all like it, Piri? Let's give a round of applause. Okay, anyway, um, I was literally getting ready to record one of my LPs, and I promise you guys, it's gonna come tomorrow, okay? After you guys see this, literally tomorrow, hopefully, the, the like, the LP is, like, 50 minutes. But anyway, it's not about the LP, okay? I got sidetracked. You know, like, when you start just, like, you know, you're about to play, right? And then all of a sudden, you go, like, mm, let me download some mods. Guys, I was literally on my YouTube channel. I mean, on my, I was literally on YouTube, right? Looking up, like, new mods, and then I came across the comfy in. Oh, my gosh. If you guys don't follow her, please go follow her. She is amazing. Her voice is so soothing. And on top of that, she has great content. So stop playing. She is so underrated. Please go follow her. Anyway, um, she actually recently did a video. I was stunned. Literally, I had no idea, but by the name of Tech Hippie, oh my gosh, we can have literally, if you don't, if you can't do reshade in your in your computer, this is what you need. Okay? Everything. Okay, so what, what you guys do is go to the mod section of the um of the website. And guys, everything will be linked down below, including her video as well as J Sims. He also has uh JC Sims. I think it's JC Sims. He's also gonna be linked down below for his video. I mean, both of them went into detail way more than I ever could. But y'all, this is my reaction. Y'all know I love a good CC mod, mod creator haul kind of vibe. You feel me? They have all kinds of mods, and basically every single one of these mods is just to detail the game even further. And I'm obsessed. I'm literally obsessed. So this one is called the new K707, where that's the nature mod. And guys, they literally go into detail with like how to get a better sense for experience. They go into detail with how like amazing the game is. You can literally go and like when you do the zip file, they literally have options of like we'll get to that in a second. We'll, we'll we'll get to that in a second. Okay. So this is the K505 mod, which I did download, and I downloaded all five of them because my computer one can handle it. So just be mindful of that. And then. Also, I mean, guys, look at these graphics. Like, it doesn't even look like, well, it does look like The Sims 4, but just on a better engine and something that they should have used to begin with. I mean, these screenshots are amazing. Look at the textures. I am so excited to download these. Like, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, that was so unnecessary in so many ways, guys. But literally has so much stuff. Like they even have one for floor paints, guys. So like your like the floors and the textures can even be different. I mean, just look at the complete difference in the game. Like Guys, look at the difference between the before and after. Like, look at the difference. Like, The Sims 4 should just fire everybody and restart. Like, it's almost as if they should just hire some CC and mod creators. It's almost as if they don't actually give a shit. You see what I'm saying? Because if people can do this with not a billion dollar corporation behind them, I just don't understand. Like, hello, hello, hire these people. This is amazing. This is the kind of content. If they came out right now and totally redid everything just like this, you guys, it's going to be unbelievable how much the Sims 4 community will be like, oh my God, they're trying. They're actually legit trying. This is so amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to download these all into my game. Again, all of this will be down below. And if you guys do have questions, there is a K505 FAQ onto the screen, which is like right here and literally goes into everything. Like I just don't know which false install. There's too many. Where is the same machine with the link file? So my manager is not K-pop. Will it overkill my game? What do I want to keep the world in its original look? Like literally every question you have for it, it, it is here so guys I'm gonna go right into the game so we can actually see this actually before I do that let me show you exactly how I'm going to do okay so for those who don't know if you guys are into the sims I I highly recommend always backing up all of your CC content so every single CC content that I have right here I like for my game it's in another folder on my computer and it's mine is labeled sim CC copy because it's just the copies of all of the files just in case of anything if the game ever corrupted and deleted everything every every single mod I actually have a backup up already for it like on my computer itself just for safety because we all know we can't trust the sims when it comes down to updates okay i'm not taking no risk you shouldn't take no risk we're in this together together we can shoot the moon stop the rain even not gonna get copyrighted you guys see this right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna automatically create a new file it's gonna be a new folder and it's gonna be called um let's see the name of this i'm gonna call it tech hippie 505 uh, mod put it into detail and as you guys can see I'm very very specific on what I choose to like detail my game with like even like the creative sim like if you go to my creative sim toddlers I literally divide everything up because it just makes everything 20 times easier so let's say I, I'm done with all the sim women here that I have in my game I just decide to just delete that and then go in and buy new ones that way I know exactly where my stuff is because guys it you you will get lost in the sauce downloading mods and just stuffing them into the game because it will just get so confusing so I'm gonna go into this tech hippies 505 
drag that into the folder and it's gonna look something like this now at first it is a zip file and so some of you guys might need an alternative like zip for like you know way to unzip files but for me I can just press zip and then it unzips it for me um, but you can go into each one and each one has basically anything that you don't have so like each one basically each one has something like so basically let's say you don't have outdoor retreat I don't have outdoor retreat and so what I'm gonna do with this one now it's gonna get it now it seems a little bit confusing but I promise you guys it's not as confusing as I'm making it seem it's just like I'm very detailed in how I like my mods situated and this is probably gonna help you like get your stuff organized because if something ever happens with the game you know you just don't want that so basically I'm going to make a copy of this and I'm gonna paste this right so this basically has everything I, I need right so I know the KO1 KO2 da -da 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 -da, right so in the event that I end up do getting outdoor retreat it's right here for me to just drag back into that folder do you see what I'm saying so right here because I'm gonna go down each one now I'm going to go down the list of things that I do not have so now that I okay so now that I have this right this is still under my CC copies all of this stuff right I'm gonna go into back into it I'm trying not to be as complicated and confusing as possible but I don't know it might be confusing to you guys if you guys have never downloaded mods please go back and like I'll actually link a video down below of how to actually download mods because this video might not be the best for you if this is your first time ever downloading them um so I'm gonna go each one and then so the first things first I'm gonna go to k101 right and I'm gonna get rid of everything I don't have I do not have outdoor retreat so I'm going to delete that I do not have um, spa day so actually guys I decided that you can just leave it in there so that's what I'm gonna do and then that way when I do buy the world it's automatically gonna be there now you can do the way I just explained it, it might be easier for you guys but for me I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it in okay so now that I'm done with my CC copies I'm going to head over to electronic arts in my documents folder I'm gonna click the sims 4 and I'm going to go into mods now Everything that I have in my mods folder is also on my CC copies, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna delete all of my mods on my thing. I do this every single time I import new mods. And it's okay anyway for me because I did just go in and update a bunch of stuff. Um, for, like, cause you know The Sims had an update, so I did, I haven't played it since the update and I do this anytime every they have an update because you guys know like shit goes crazy really quick and so it's gonna delete all those stuff right and then I'm gonna press copy and then I'm gonna paste it and it's gonna paste everything I have um clearly I have a lot a lot a lot of stuff so now it's gonna go in and place everything I are so now it's gonna go in and place every all the mods I have it's gonna take a while depending on what you have again I have like 10,000 mods on the computer and CC so yeah there's that so now it is officially in my game you know how I can double check I, right I can go to my documents. I can select electronic arts. I can collect. I can select some. I can select electronic arts. I select Sims 4, and select the mods. And all of my stuff is in here. And it should tell you right now that I am using 40 gigabytes worth of stuff. Yikes! But it's okay. It's fine. It's it's all gonna be good. And then I can also still go into the Tech Hippie override and just double check that everything is there. Now I'm gonna go in and make sure that my CC is fine and everything is basically how it is. All right, guys. So that actually took a minute. I'm not gonna lie. It kind of did something to my game where it took a little bit longer to load than usual but y'all just obviously haven't seen that but I'm like I know right now it took a good like 20 minutes for my game to load up but guys are you kidding let's look cuz I know you lying guys I know y'all see the difference I know y'all see the difference I know you see the difference oh my god this looks so good like imagine the screenshots when I start doing my build videos again because y'all finna <laughs> oh my guys look at the ground Look at the ground. Look at the ground. I know y'all see that. I, wow, 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 wow. And I know some of you guys are probably thinking I'm being dramatic, but like, look at the detail. Okay, pause, pause real quick because Sims, what's going on? EA, Maxis, who, who I need to talk to? Because this right, Lindsay Pearson. Lindsay, let me talk to you. Let me hold on to you for a second because this is what we need. This is the kind of content we need. This is what we want. I mean, wow, wow, wow. Like this, honestly, I know it sounds like I'm being dramatic, but this is truly amazing guys look at this you i know you see the diff look at the world it doesn't even look like it just looks like honestly an engine that should have been guys we let's zoom into this how gorgeous is this look at the trees i know you guys see the difference like look at the like look how realistic this literally looked wow this is truly i'm honestly i'm in shock right now 
and I know it sounds dramatic, but look how much, look how real this entire thing looks. Like, it's, this is amazing. Honestly, guys, I 120% recommend this. I mean, I haven't even, like, this is gonna, like, really boost up my gameplay, and I'm so excited about that because I am filming my LP tomorrow. So, I also, if you guys are also wondering, you still can just, like, keep everything in the game so that when you download a new world or you purchase a new world, you can already just have this so you don't actually have to extract everything out like I did. Um, and then I also ended up having every single pack of like the K5, the KO 101, the KOs. I downloaded all of it. Now people say if you download the K505, you don't need to download certain other ones, but I just downloaded the whole thing and I just don't mind it. But guys, this world is absolutely beautiful and you can really tell what the texture is and how different everything looks. Like it just looks like, it just looks like better quality. I mean, guys, this is honestly, this is truly beautiful and it makes everything just look so realistic. I'm just, I'm in awe and I know like it may, might sound dramatic, but you guys understand like so, things like this is what we need in the game. If someone can do it without a billion dollar corporation behind them, EA and Maxis can do it. There's literally no excuses for any reason as to why we we don't have something like this already in the game why their engine is not that good like I don't care like this this is truly amazing work and I'm like top tier I mean the grass just the way the house is built I haven't seen the wa wow look at the texture of the water guys I mean come on this is beautiful and, and if you guys compare like what the Sims looks like before that you guys know it's very cartoony very but this is still on the rise of like cartoony but also meets realism like it just gives that vibe of like wow this could this really feels like a neighborhood and it feels like more it's like as if they boosted the clarity up almost you know what I mean so this is just amazing and I'm not complete all of this I actually really 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 thoroughly enjoy this but, I mean, you guys let me know down below what you guys think of this entire thing. I think this whole, again, I haven't even played with it all the way. So, like, there's probably so much more I'm not even, like, seeing. But you guys let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. If you Are you guys going to download this? Have you guys heard of this? Have you guys used this? I think this is a great alternative to reshades if you guys aren't able to get reshades in your game. Again, I play on Mac. So sometimes it's a little bit sketchy to download things that, I mean, download reshades that can play on Mac. Because I've just, you know, heard a couple things about it. So I'm not really sure. Let me know. Also, do you guys have reshade if you do play Mac? Please let me know down below. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, everything will be linked down below. Down below. <laughs> everything will link be linked down below as well as, you know, where you can find these, the two videos that I can recommend, that I, the first one that I came across, and then also J. Seems, J. C. Sims, who also goes into depth of way more than what I did. But again, guys, please, please, please go give credit to Tech Hippie. I mean, amazing, amazing work. This is like super, this is beautiful. And honestly, I'm just really pissed at Max's because there should be no excuse as to why we don't have such a detail in the game. I mean, this is absolutely beautiful and amazing, amazing work. I mean, again, just looking at the grass and like how detailed it is, it's, this is beautiful. I think this is, this is, <sighs> guys, I'm so excited to do my LP. You guys don't even understand. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and comment down below what you guys would like to see. Um, and then also give it a big thumbs up, guys. We are on the road to 3K. We are so close and I am so excited. Again, thank you guys for all of you guys who are, have been subbing. I am noticing you guys. Again, comment down below because I love talking Sims. I love talking about it. And I don't have a lot of friends that play The Sims. So this community that I've built with you guys is just completely amazing. And and it's very positive it's like I I love the fact that this is such a positive community that I have built and I'm grateful and even though we do have opinions we have discussions on other topics again at the end of the day it's a discussion and I'm very open to like everyone's opinion on things especially when it involves the game thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video bye